All right, there we go. Hey, guys, it's always a big you to each of y'all defeating an incumbent with $153. You are going to love this story. And I got two others for you as well. So a three-pack for today. By the end of this, you're going to know what's going on. And I think we're going to have a fun conversation. I love this first story. It is a doozy, and I like it. Buckle up. Here we go. Hey, today's episode is brought to you by all of you people. Thank you for every thumbs up. Y'all always crush it, so thank you. Four winners from yesterday's CMMG giveaway right here. And please send an email over to me to let me know your address. So congratulations to the four winners. All right, this is fun. It's from New Jersey. If you haven't heard this now, it's not a complete victory. It's a primary victory. But Edward Durr, a truck driver from a furniture store, he was denied his concealed carry permit, and he said, nope, not happening. I'm going to run for office. And he has, it looks like, defeated uh, the, the actual Senate president, Steve Sweeney. He is the longest running Steve, uh, president in New Jersey history. And it looks like he's going out on his ear, thanks to Edward Durr. Here's what I love about this. First, he was denied his concealed carry permit. He mentioned that over on a YouTube channel back in August. So that wasn't, that wasn't super in the media. That wasn't his main platform. But he ran his entire campaign on $153. Who's with the blue collar crowd? I love this. Absolutely do. And of that $153, $66 of that was spent at Dunkin' Donuts on coffee and donuts. So that's fantastic. Looks like, what's funny is the Senate president, current Senate president, Steve Sweeney, he had to like postpone some stuff until these votes get counted because it looks like he is out. And so he's, it's, it's, it's great. Like, I love this story. I absolutely do. Shout out to Edward Durr of New Jersey, truck driver. Hopefully he'll get that concealed carry permit. That should be, uh, should be fun for us to watch in the coming days. I also love that he didn't have to go millions of dollars into debt or do fundraising for five years to be able to jump into politics. And uh, it's just good. I love the story. It's not just feel good. I think it's good. Um, I think it's encouraging for all of us that we are the people. Next, here we go. SCOTUS. Now, I mentioned this yesterday. And yesterday, for two hours, there were oral arguments heard at the SCOTUS. And what they're looking at is the state of New York's, their whole deal to get a concealed carry is archaic and draconian at best. You have to have a particular and unusual need in order to receive a CC permit for outside of your home. Oh yeah, they'll let you, you know, have your they'll let you have your rights in your home, but not outside your home. And so this is New York State. The SCOTUS listened to arguments yesterday for two hours. The article on Politico was actually pretty good because there's a lot of quotes in there from each individual justice. And so I like quotes. I don't really care about Politico's their their commentary, but when you have a you know a pretty good paragraph of a quote, I do like seeing that. Now here's the good news. I know we're all mad at the SCOTUS, I get that, but they have a tremendously strong and, and positive history of upholding the Constitution. So it looks like that this law is going to get struck down, like the, the, the people that have been watching this are saying this is going to go really well. The problem with the SCOTUS is that they rarely, rarely ever hear 2A cases, like almost never. And that's the big problem is that they won't hear cases. But when they do choose to hear a case, it usually goes well for the Constitution, especially for the Second Amendment. So we're watching that is that trial is underway or trial or hearing. So we'll see how that goes on the SCOTUS. All right, let's go up to Wisconsin, the, the, the Kenosha kid. The trial is underway, and I just want to mention this to you. Uh, the Kenosha kid, Kyle Rittenhouse, the trial's going. Um, Newsweek was all mad this morning because he was yawning. And I mean, he's a kid. He was 17 when the incident happened. He's 18 now. But uh, yeah, like he's tired in the morning and he yawns. Plus, you know, what a Chad. Total Chad yawning at that trial. Uh, I mentioned yesterday that the FBI had deleted some video of that incident. 
shocking on that one. Well, it's been recovered and it was shown to the jury yesterday. It's aerial footage and it's also thermal and it's pretty grainy because I think it's at like 8,000 feet. However, it was shown to the trial yesterday, to the, the, uh, the jury yesterday. And so that's now part of the evidence. Here's what's also interesting. Now, Kyle Rittenhouse is on trial for basically his life seven charges, none of which are good. They're all nasty. And he has pled not guilty and then yawned about it. Love it. But there has been 12 video angles shown in court so far. So this thing is very, very well documented. And, uh, I, you know, I, who am I to look and assess this from the outside? But I think the kid's going to be totally fine. And uh, I think the fact that he's even on trial is, is dumb and a little on the ridiculous side. And, you know, he sat in jail for a long, long time. Alec Baldwin, nah, not so much. So it was somebody else's fault. All right, there's a three-pack for you. I'm, I'm, I'm in love with this story on Edward Durr. It's fantastic $66 spent at Dunkin' Donuts. And the dude looks like wins a primary. So that is absolutely that's great. I love it. Let me know what you think. And jump on back here tomorrow with me. We're going to be doing Spicy Friday tomorrow. And it's going to be a fun. Y'all have a good one. Bye.